Um, how do you feel about, I think that it's really changed some of tourism in Scotland and whatnot, and you're Scottish, no. correct? No, that's, no. <laughs> why did you think that? I'm well, actually, no, Roger. I don't want to assume, Roger's I never assume. I'm actually Scottish, but I'm just, I stay in character a lot, so I'm actually American. I'm from the valleys uh, in Los Angeles, uh, like my good friend Claire over there who's looking after me today. Um, but I'm not Scottish. That's a common misconception. So what are you going to say about Scotland? Well, I got to go and it was amazing. Yeah, I hear it's really nice. <laughs> so it was over a three day period and, and the first day she had said, oh, I just want to let you know there's a really cool bar on the 13th floor of my hotel. And I was like, that's, that's nice. That's really cool that you have a cool bar on the 13th floor of your hotel. And she had given me her business card that day, which I kind of thought nothing of, and I was like, all right, okay. And um, the next day she came up, so it was over three days, and you do like the photos, and you did this autographs and things like that. And then on, on the next day she had come up and she said, I don't know if you noticed, but I would wrote my room number on the back of the card that I gave you. <laughs> and I was like, I, I think I think this was my reaction. I, think I just, I, I, could, I, I, had not, I couldn't, I didn't have anything to say. I had no response to that. I was just kind of like, <laughs> I think I was frozen for a moment. <laughs> and then, uh, I can't think I'm telling the story. <laughs> and then you're there now. Yeah, so, <laughs> so <laughs> she came up, and like I say, she was very sweet, bless her. Um, she came up and she had said, uh, um, I just want to know if you think there's, um, uh, you know, I'm due to go back to Paris, but I just, you know, I want to know if there's any possibility that we may kind of catch up later on. Should I stay? in Germany or should I, should I go back to Paris and I was like I mean the traffic's going to be busy I was hitting Russia if you're know, going to head to Paris now is probably a good time to, 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 to kind of be on your way I'm really busy it's lovely to meet you very exciting can you give any teases about your character in season three yeah I can tease that he's, he's probably going to be the best thing in it I have no doubt. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's going to be good. <laughs> oh, there he is, isn't he, handsome? <laughs> Let's just take a moment to appreciate. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's a nice fellow. <laughs> uh, called clotted cream there, I'd never had before. Clotted cream? You've never had clotted I cream? I had that's until not, I went. I don't think that's, that's a maybe Scottish British thing. thing? Uh, yeah. It was I had a it thing, in all kinds of places while yeah. I was over there. <laughs> Richard, let me ask you something. When you do interviews, is it a lot of times like this? Well, no, I don't know. I've never had anyone tell me that they've had clotted cream in a lot of I places. don't mean... I meant locations. Yeah. <laughs> you knew what I meant. I don't know what you got up to in Scotland, but it sounds quite <laughs> kinky, along with, this, along with this microphone here. Ah. Wow, yeah. this took I a like turn. I like clotted cream. I, I like to have it orally. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> Usually with some sort of dessert or cake. Right. This show is everything. Yes, it is. That's true. Good observation. It is everything. It's everything to me. It consumes my entire life. Every waking day and moment of my life is Outlander. And I love it. How do you say, bitch, don't try me in Gaelic? Well, let me help you out with that. Oh, that's how you say that in Gaelic. What kind of direction is he, is he going in and how has he changed? Because uh, I think, I guess the, the question is, what influence has Brie had on him? Not much. <laughs> not much. I'm not sure he cares too much for Brianna, to be honest. No, obviously a profound impact. The main thing that you have to think about when you're doing the granddad dance is uh, timing. Timing. What okay. I mean by that is the lack of it. So you want Lack to be completely of out of sync. You know? Lose your rhythm. Finger clicking yeah. is quite good, right? Yep. And we're just going to bob, and there's going to be the odd bob yep. of the head. But the really important part about the granddad dancing is the feet. Okay. So you're going to kick out your feet every now and again. Okay. And has anyone got some music? Does anyone want to sing a song? Do a bit of humming? Uh, or something like that? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's teaching at Oxford University. It all becomes very heightened and dramatic. Sounds terrifying. Yeah, students' grades drop and he blames himself. Oh he feels like he's not teaching effectively oh, and he's, what am I doing wrong? Obviously, there's uh, things of outside circumstances affecting him, Brianna, that everything life, that went on. It's yeah, and it's Oxford as well. It's very prestigious. Yeah. Can't let things slip the way he does. Poor Roger. <laughs> oh my God, I hope he's okay. He's not. <laughs> 
every character's in peril at some point. So There are perils. Gonna, perils. Yeah, uh, there's a peril necklace, isn't there? <laughs> <laughs> That's how you pronounce that. Yeah, I don't know. Claire's this necklace. The, south the really Elden, the family Elden. Mm -hmm. yep. Got it. Got it, Richard. <laughs> Got it. Uh... On a scale of 1 to 10, how worried should we be for your character? I mean, how worried, how worried for... should we be about my last comment? I'm worried about both of us keeping our jobs at this point. Let's just be honest. This is probably the last interview I'm ever doing, as are you. So we may as well just, oh I guess, goodness. keep going. I guess is, um, what if he meets Jamie? What would that meeting be like? That'd be great, wouldn't it? <laughs> that would be great to meet Jamie. This That would be the climax. That would yeah. be the end of the show, right? This amazing mythological... Scottish hero that he's heard so much about, all good things from Claire. Like, he's just, he's the man, isn't he? And all the research that he's done just seems like a man of honour, of integrity, of passion. I think he would get on really well with Jamie. Yeah, I think they would yeah. as well. Yeah, I, I can't see why not. Excellent. Yeah. Well, we look forward to that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Fame, I'm gonna live forever. No, you're on the beat though. I'm gonna, gonna learn, learn how, how to fly. fly. Oh. I'm gonna jump in together. Can't I don't don't see me and cry. Babe! I'm gonna take you to heaven. Yeah, you take that to heaven. Light Christian. up the sky like a flame. Babe! I'm gonna live, live forever. Or live forever. I'm gonna learn how to fly. Say my name, say my name, say my name, say my name, say my name. Richard, Richard, Richard. Keep it up, keep it up. Bam! Big finish, big finish. Yeah! Do you think he would thrive in that environment, going, going back with the knowledge that he's got and, and his personal attributes as well? Well, this is a question that I've, I have asked myself a number of times for a number of different reasons. Would Roger thrive back then? My immediate answer, the one that, that you know that impulsively comes to me, is no, <laughs> <laughs> not yet, um, because the way I pitched Roger, knowing that the, the journey that he goes on is, um, is he's a kind of a mild-mannered historian. That's that's all he is. He has, I mean, he, you know, he has he has his education, he has his knowledge of history, but he has no experience of it. Mm -hmm. There's no experience of that or the, the, the way people live their lives or, you know, I suppose he, he I don't think he would instinctively know how to survive in the 18th century. So I think that would be probably quite an intimidating prospect for him. But, you know, should they go back and come through it and experience it in all of its glory, I think he would come out the other end a very different person. Mm -hmm.